day 18 and it's pretty early in the morning and I am sitting next to a little flowing creek which is hilarious considering yesterday morning when I was headed into Superior I was still drinking some of that cow water, the nastiest cow water I've seen or tasted on the trail and now I'm next to flowing water that's flowing into a little pool so this, this trail is a trail of extremes. I'm headed up the next set of mountains. I'm headed up Montana Mountain right now, and everything around here is named Revis. So I'm on the Revis Trail, it's probably Revis Creek. I'm going over Revis Saddle, there's a Revis Spring, and then a Revis Ranch all today. So um, <laughs> that's today, and, and, and right now I need, just need to finish this initial climb. And I got up pretty early to do it because I want to get these initial climbs into these mountains um, when it's still cool. And I mean, once you get into the mountain, you're going to be doing, going up and down. So there's still going to be climbs in the heat of the day. It's just these initial climbs I want to do. So let me, let me flip around and show you this, this beautiful, beautiful sight. You can see it's not much water, but look at that. It's moving. It's actually moving. There's no algae. And then it's flowing down into this little pool. And I've been crossing these streams that have water for a while. That's looking out the canyon. So, good start to the morning. All right, the sun has started peeking over those mountains there, which means it's going to start cooking this. Um, the trail is actually going through these tall grasses, which is kind of funny. Uh, down here in the canyons that I was walking earlier because of the moisture yesterday, there was still dew on them and my shoes and pants actually got soaked. So I just came from straight in those canyons, made pretty good progress, and I'm headed up here, uh, which I should get to in another two miles. I have to go over one of these bumps here. And then it's, I'm in the mountains and it's just kind of up and down. I'm super close to the saddle, but this is a great view of what I just hiked. Not just today, but I don't know, maybe like the last week. So I started, you see these really big mountains in the distance, it's hard to focus them on the zoom. Um, started there, went down, up, uh, and then these more jaggedy ones. I just went over and then went through the valley and then you can see this canyon sneaking up this way. That's why I walked all last night and this morning till about here and then I've been kind of zigzagging my way up here. So that's a review for now. <laughs> uh, the saddle's just right, right here. I'm a little over 5,000 feet in elevation and I wanted to get that climb done in the morning, not only because when you're going uphill, it gets hot and, you know, if there's no shade, it gets really hot. But now that we're up here at a higher elevation, it is a little cooler and we have vegetation that grows taller and actually casts some shadows, some shade. So I like that. This is why I love the comment feature in the Arizona Trail app. Um, because the route hasn't been updated. It actually goes this way. And um, <laughs> the, the GPS still says to follow this road. So this is more shaded and more direct. And I am entering the Superstition Wilderness. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Arizona Trail. So it's been rerouted, just hasn't been updated in the app. I also want to point out that the wildflowers at this elevation are going strong, especially these purple ones. I haven't learned my wildflower species yet, so I don't know what they are, but if anyone does, they smell great and they're, they're lining the trail right now. Look at this, look what I'm coming upon. That's a little pool of water could sit in there and <laughs> I just got my feet wet. Um, <laughs> it's not hot enough for me right now to, to stop and do that but oh that looks like such an oasis. Such an oasis compared to the last couple days. That's awesome. All 
I'm currently climbing out of the canyons, which were way down there. And we got some of those cool rock formations up here. And then all around here, it's just green. I mean, I've been going in and out of shade with like a little bit more shade because it is getting hot, but it's pretty green. This section after the pass has been incredibly pleasant. It's been tree. There's even some pine trees in there. There's this wonderful concept called shade um, that's fairly regular and it's got a nice cool breeze and it's quiet and it's cooler and you've got blue skies and fluffy clouds and it's been relatively flat too crossing little creeks it's been really nice not only is this flat shaded and pleasant but there is some fantastic camping around here i keep passing all of these sites here's another one a little ring a fire ring but beautiful, beautiful spot to camp with the birds and then the, the pine tree smell and the shade and it's flat. This is, I'm really enjoying this stretch today. This looks like it might be the remains of the foundations of Rivas Ranch itself. Yeah, this is, this is definitely a structure. See, you can see it's kind of square shaped. That little corner is one of the only things remaining from this. I don't really know anything about Rivas Ranch. I just know this is Rivas Ranch. And probably the wall. <laughs> People have turned this into a campsite now. But beautiful area. And uh, according to the notes, in the fall, there's tons of apple trees. Nice you know, structure over here. And you can just pick apples along the way. And gorgeous, gorgeous, relaxing area here. Across the other side of the mountain now. So no more of those nice flat pine forest areas. But got some cool, cool mountains and upcoming cool views. You can see a little bit of it through the trees. Let me see if there's a break up here. A little bit. So still making our way through the mountains. I'm only gonna go maybe like five more miles today. And then after that is the descent down into Roosevelt Lake, which I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. Look at these awesome views. It's getting later in the day. We have a couple more miles left and the sun is starting to get low in the sky and it's starting to get beautiful. So I'm headed downhill. And then I'm going to be headed uphill. Um, it looks like I'm going to do some up and down, up and down before it's all down to Roosevelt Lake tomorrow. But right now I've, I've got a campsite picked out by its description. Its description sounds pretty cool. And so I just have to go down and then I got to end the day with like a mile climb uphill. And then we'll see what that campsite looks like. I'm getting these beautiful views out the valley here, but it's gonna take me longer to get to this campsite than I originally thought, um, simply because this is the trail. It's so steep, like it just came from like straight up here. And I've kind of had to be tiptoeing down it and it's got loose rocks and I'm not sure how people do this without poles, but it's gonna be this steep all the way down into this valley here. And then I just looked at the trail, it looks like the trail goes, all the way up behind that rock because that makes sense but anyway beautiful view but might take me a long time to get to the campsite oh my god i made it i didn't quite make it for sunset which would have been right over here where it's still kind of orange but that's a nice sheltered site and it might be Roosevelt Lake down there. <sighs> Looks like water. I don't know, I could be hallucinating at this point. That was, that was a lot harder than I was expecting it to be. I'm gonna take a little break before I actually set up my camp. 
I thought I was going to get to camp early today too. I was looking at um, my pace at lunch and looking, I saw this campsite and I saw how close I was. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get there early. And so I took extra breaks in the pine forest because it was nice. And then I get to that really, really steep first part of the valley. And I think going down was worse than going up. They're both bad. But usually up is worse for me. But down was worse this time because I don't know who designed that trail. I know these most of these sections were designed before the Arizona Trail. But whoever the original designer of was that trail, I don't know what they were thinking. <sighs> I'm still breathing hard. It's like a slide throughout much of it. Like, I was actually considering going down on my butt at some points, but it would, that wouldn't have been good. <laughs> that would have been a bad idea. But, I'm here now, and I'm going to go to sleep, and then tomorrow is Roosevelt Lake.